Enter a blue-haired girl running as she gets chased and fired at. After escaping, the same girl wakes up in bed shocked to see her own body, and encounters a tiger-looking doll. The doll's name is Harakiri Tora and it tells the girl, Natsuru Sino, that she was chosen to become a camphor. After freaking out for a bit, Natsuru wants to go back to sleep, so the doll helps her by kicking her in the face and knocking her out. When Natsuru wakes up, he's back to being a boy. Next, on his way to school, Natsuru tries to catch the bus only to barely miss, but luckily his crush, Hide Sakura, misses the bus as well, thus they decide to wait for the next one together. Unfortunately, his bracelet begins to glow, so Natsuru tries to leave before transforming in front of Keide, but before he gets away, the same red-haired girl suddenly appears. A bus then drives past, and Natsuru takes the chance to run away, where he turns back into a girl with a brief magical sequence. After a brief fight, Keide comes over to look for Natsuru, but only finds the other girl, who turns and points the weapon at Keide, prompting Natsuru to throw a fireball to his surprise, resulting in an explosion which stops her. Natsuru then leaps across to save her from a lamppost, and the girl realizes what happened, so she decides to leave. Meanwhile, Keide checks to see if Natsuru is oak, but he just runs off. Afterwards, arriving back at school as a guy, Natsuru's friend, Mikito Higashida, tells him there's a girl outside wanting to see him who introduces herself as Akane Mishima. Akane reveals that she is that red-haired girl that attacked him earlier, except this time she's a shy, bespectacled librarian who seems to apologetically find lewd double intenders in everything that is said. She explains that there are two types of camphor, blue and red. It is also explained that each camphor carry one of three weapons, a short, newer or zauber, akin to rock-paper-scissors. Shortly after, Akane tries to grab a German dictionary, so Natsuru grabs it for her, but a bunch of books falls, causing the two to tumble on each other. They are then interrupted by the student council president, and as she walks away, Natsuru's bracelet begins to flash again. Akane then escorts Natsuru to the roof of the female side of the school, where they hide and talk about why they turn into campers. On the way home after school, Natsuru, back to being a boy, is wanted by Keide, where he thinks that she's finally going to confess to him. Instead, she asks Natsuru to introduce her to the female version of himself, without knowing that they are actually the same person. He then decides to ask Akane for advice the next day, but as the two of them are talking, they find themselves under attack by another camphor, with a chain blade weapon that cuts through the bookshelves like paper. After one attack, Keide is shown standing in the rubble. Thinking she's the attacker, the transformed Akane points her gun in Keide's direction and fires. Natsuru then saves her from a can by leaping over and grabbing Akane, causing the bullet to just miss Keide, but she faints as a result. The attack then still continues from the mysterious camphor, proving Keide's innocence, but the school bell goes off and the attacks randomly stop. Akane then leaves to go to class, leaving Natsuru to deal with the pass out Keide. So Natsuru lifts her up and takes her to the nurse's office on the girl's side and lays her down in the bed. At the end of the day, Natsuru returns home as a guy and has a new postcard for Mikoto Kondo in Suriname. After reading the postcard, he has a little talk with Tora about the new enemy camphor. Nevertheless, the next day, Natsuru is summoned to see the student council president, along with Akane, about the attack in the library. After the meeting, Natsuru is approached by Keide about when will she be able to meet the female Natsuru, which Natsuru replies by saying tomorrow after school since he's a simp. He then invites Akane over to his house to discuss what he should do about that situation, but she originally misunderstands Natsuru's intentions. It was at that moment he decided that he would try to get Keide to hate his female version, but it doesn't go according to plan when Keide confesses to him instead. As such, an unsure Natsuru runs away, but as he returns, Shizuku Sango is there instead and reveals herself as the enemy camphor, and after a few exchanged words, both Natsuru and Akane start to flee. However, they eventually come to a blocked end, so they have no choice other than to fight. Thus, Akane uses herself as a decoy, so Natsuru could concentrate to fire her Zabar at Shizuku, but she easily cuts it in half. Natsuru then comes up with a plan to set off the fire sprinklers, which succeeds, but Natsuru stops Akane from hitting Shizuku, and strikes a deal with her instead, to leave Keide alone. The next morning, Natsuru is told by the student council president, that due to a determined Keide looking for his female version, he has to transfer to the girl's side of the school to stop all rumors that have been circulating so campfires are still kept secret. Fast forward to the first day of school for girl Natsuru after being transferred. Finishing introducing herself to the class, she soon spots Akane. Shortly after, when the teacher is deciding where Natsuru should sit, Akane offers the spot next to her, but is then trampled to the ground as the other girl's mom around Natsuru. The class rep then states that Natsuru will be sitting next to her. However, Keide bursts in and pulls Natsuru away from the crowd, saying that the student council president, Shizuku, has asked her to look after her. 
Afterwards, walking down the corridor alone, Kade admits that she lied so they could be alone together, where she then confesses her love for the female Natsuru. At this point, Natsuru's bracelet begins to flash and once again runs from Kade, without giving an answer. He continues to run to the roof and starts panicking about being found out as a guy on the girl's side, but then the bracelet suddenly stops flashing as Akali shows up in her camphor form. She then tells him to go to the library if the bracelet ever starts reacting again. Back in the classroom, every girl begins admiring female Natsuru, where they continue to just stare. Suddenly, Masumi Nishino squeezes past the girls since she wants an interview with a new student. Masumi then interrogates him to try to get some dirt on him. Later, paper is released claiming that Natsuru is actually a girl like her, and as a result, Natsuru becomes more popular with the girls. Meanwhile, the chairman and the rest take advantage to make bank by charging money for people to see Natsuru. Afterwards, as they count cash, Natsuru tries to escape thinking that she's done, but the chairman tells her she has much more activities to complete. As such, Natsuru runs out the class and towards the gym, where three students tie him up. Regardless, at the end of the day, when Natsuru returns home still in camphor form, there is yet another postcard sent by Mikoto. After collapsing on his bed, the doorbell goes off and it turns out to be a kind with some cake. While eating, Natsuru leans in towards Akane, which she mistakes as a kiss, but Natsuru just tells her that she has cream on her face. The next day then begins and the chairman ambushes Natsuru, but Kade steps in to save him, again claiming that Natsuru only loves one girl and only one. Afterwards, he then has lunch with Kade, where Shizuku decides to join in as well, with the intentions of only making it more complicated for Natsuru by claiming that he's dating the male version of himself, causing Kade to run off. Later, Natsuru is sat alone thinking to himself about Kade's confession and about going to make female Natsuru hers, while the other guys are getting excited about the upcoming festival. None more so than Higashida, as it's rumored that one of the three beauties would be competing with him being the self-acclaimed special advisor of the Hadi Research Club. However, it's revealed that Natsuru is involved, causing him to run off to confront the student council president about why he's got to compete. Shizuku simply explains that it's for the best interest for the school. Regardless, Natsuru claims he prefer not to enter, so Shizuku withdraws him but with a catch, so she gets him to give her a shoulder massage. He then accidentally becomes sussy, and when he finally realizes it, he pulls away in horror, but Shizuku thanks him. She then tells Natsuru to close his eyes, only for him to peek and sees her leaning in for a kiss, at which point Akane bursts through the door guns blazing and as a result, he still has to attend the beauty contest. Back at Natsuru's house, both Tora and Kuro Yusaji mock Natsuru for having to compete in a beauty contest while Akane apologizes for her actions. They then discuss what Natsuru can do for the contest since has no special talent, so Akane suggests singing. Meanwhile, Tora brings up what clothes he should wear and specifically mentions undies the most. So the next day, Akane and Natsuru meet up to go shopping and then head to a karaoke bar. At the undies store, he instantly dismisses what Akane picks out. However, Shizuku shows up as well to their dismay. He then tells Shizuku that it's her fault he has to spend money on a bra so Shizuku offers to help, but Akane ends up dragging Natsuru away. Afterwards, Kade shows up having been invited by Shizuku and the group head towards the karaoke bar. There, Kade and Akane fight over who gets to sing a do it with Natsuru, so Shizuku suggests a competition, where he gets to decide who's the winner. Thus, Shizuku goes first, followed by Kade and finally Akane. As Akane is sung, Natsuru recalls the latest postcard he had received. After the thought, he finds himself surrounded but all three and told to pick a winner, which he calls an all a draw. Shizuku then leaves saying she's got to make a call and Akan goes to the bathroom leaving Natsuru and Kade together alone. She then tries to get an answer from Natsuru, but once again his bracelet begins to flash so he quickly leaves and holds the door shut. He then begins to glow blue as Shizuku shows up so Natsuru begs Shizuku to transform so he can remain in camphor form. Meanwhile, Kade and Akane begin to argue over Natsuru, resulting in Kade entering into the beauty contest to confess her love in front of everyone, so Akane does so as well. As such, Shizuku decides to partake in the contest as well. 